what am I going to talk about on this garden tour? I'm going to talk about all the vegetables that are still growing. I'm going to talk about the big mistake I made and had I known better in hindsight. And she told me I couldn't wear pants over my head to the birthday party. October 1st. Can you believe it? I can't. And you know what's coming? The holiday season. I love the holiday season. It doesn't matter if you're surrounded with family or you're all by yourself in the garden or tending to your beautiful little plants on your window. It's a beautiful time of the year. And that season leads back into our growing season. So it's one season going into another, but let's talk about October. So what's going on? I'm gonna do this garden tour a little bit different. We're here in Southern California, Zone 10A. So we still have tomatoes growing everywhere. Some of my squash has fizzled out, but some of them are coming back. Now I've got eggplant starting to take off, which is really interesting. And then I've got the red vein sorrel, which will grow all year. But I've got different things coming through here. I've got garlic chives, more red vein sorrel. I've got even strawberries I picked the other day, which is amazing. And I've got a little bucket here of my extra turmeric, and it's not even the extra. I've got, I've got a whole container more that's growing. I never planted. So let's see what's been going on. The chair garden is doing great just as it is. We got two watermelons off of it, and I only had the one plant there. So part of that is my fault. We didn't plant a lot of watermelon, which was good because I had some in the rainbow garden and it didn't grow due to our weather that was very cool in the evening. So we never got really hot in our area here. And we, so we would stay warm during the day, but cool at night, which I made a big mistake. And if had I known in hindsight, I would have grown something else. And we'll get to that in a few moments. The truck bed, I never set that up for this season, but I let it go what was growing last year. And of course the fig leaf gourd came up, the shark fin melon, whatever you want to call it. That's growing all over the place. I do have a watermelon plant growing in there, but it's not going to make it. We're still way too cold. I'm going to have to say in my lifetime, I have never seen a September we went through with the September we had. I've never seen that. We were rainy, we were cool, and we normally, in September, that used to be called our fire season, and it used to be really hot. We did not have a hot September. So that hindered some of the plants, caused more powdery mildew around the garden, and things slowed down. So what's going on in here is, right now I'm gonna leave everything the way it is. I've got tomatoes growing everywhere. So that's gonna continue, hopefully, for another couple months. I'm not going to plant anything other than what's here. I'm going to take care of what's here. I may drop in for fun some brassicas because that's perfect. All your brassicas, if you're not under snow yet, and I don't think you are, you can grow that right now in the next, for the next couple months. So I might drop in some brassicas. I've got one here growing. But that's it. Then I'll come back later and we'll talk about how I'm going to do this because I might do it even differently than I did last year but that will be after the holiday season, more in the spring. But right now I'm really happy with everything. In here. And here, I just had to show you quickly, look at this. It's growing, it, look at it, look how big they are. This is tomatillos growing in my wheelbarrow that I was moving soil around when I was working in the chair garden and it took off and grew and I'm just gonna leave it because it's a short lived plant. Once all the fruit is ready, see all the little lanterns down there? When all that's ready, the plant will die out. So I might as well just leave it because after all, it's enjoying itself. And one more thing here. I've never seen this before, popolo. I actually just dropped this on the other day. We've got popolo growing everywhere. And usually when they come up in the middle of the yard like this, they're eaten by birds and insects. And there's been a few around. I'll show you a whole field of it soon. I'm happy with everything surrounding it, including the trees that are behind you. I had a uh, hundred plus nectarines and I'm waiting to see if the apple trees will ever flower and throw anything good. Maybe I'll spot in between some different fruit trees and if they do really good and the apple trees don't, I can take the apple trees out later unless I decide to graft on them because I grew these from seed so I don't even know what they're going to turn out to be. So that's basically it. I've got pomegranates growing down by the ponds and I can't do much with them right now because the raccoons just wreak havoc in there. They go swimming, they tear the plants apart. Gary had to move plants out. 
So that's what's going on here. Let's go walk along the wall and I'll tell you what's going on over there. So let me apologize right now for the mic. I'm using Rode mics and they're wireless and periodically they just don't work for me. So here is a Coco Zell. This is along the wall. The squash, a lot of them are making a comeback and they're starting to throw flowers again, which is magnificent. And as we walk through, you'll see what I'm doing now. This is just a flower pot, but I brought it in the kitchen, stuffed it with kitchen scraps, brought it out there. So I'm feeding my plants and I'm not doing any work. More flowers, more female flowers coming up with fruit. So I'm really pleased I'll get another wave of squash. Look at that. Most of these zucchini are the black beauty, but look, they're making a comeback. I've got a tomato coming up on the ground, walking onions through there, and there's another tomato, a volunteer. So that's basically what's going on there. I'm not really doing anything but composting in place with the plants that look good. And then back there, we didn't look at it. That's turmeric, and it's growing fantastic. Beyond the wood chips, look at that. Every pot came up and it is full. I reach my hand in and pull out pieces anytime I need. I'll harvest it in the winter when everything dies back. I want it to continue to grow so the tubers or the rhizomes get big and we'll have plenty to eat later. All right, let's go over and look at some other things. Those are potatoes I have to harvest and I still have the tomatoes growing in a plastic grocery bag. But later on in the spring, I'll go ahead and clean all this up and I'll do something this spring because I'm going to work all winter setting up different things in there and be ready for the spring. Now this is what I feel I made a mistake on. I should have planted more cucumber. The cucumbers are doing fantastic. I have one giant one here and I should never have left it this big. In fact, I wonder if I can get it off here because I do want to use it for dinner tonight. Oh good, it came off easy because it's so big. Look how big it is. And you know, I have left them this big and I'm gonna tell you, I was surprised as big as they are, they're really sweet. And I make a big cucumber salad and I put in greens and tomatoes and onions and everything from the garden. And then if you wanna make a full meal out of it and you're not a vegetarian, I add in a little bit of chopped chicken or hard boiled eggs. So that is really fantastic. Remind me to come get it later. They have just been growing. There's still more cucumbers, more flowers coming through here. I do have some Malabar spinach. That's another seed that once you start growing it, it kind of finds its way in places and it loves the fall. It just grows well into the winter until it dies back. So I've got Malabar spinach all through here. I've got a zucchini. Oh, I've got zucchini. Okay, so we've got zucchini starting down there. But this cucumber got eaten by squirrels. That's why I put the tool here. I had a problem. That's why I stopped growing cucumber. I had the squirrels found the, the leaves. They would come in here and chew the plant to the ground. So I figured if they're chewing on my cucumbers, I'll concentrate on other things and just let it go. But when I put the tool up, it stopped them. As you can see, it completely stopped them. I even have some beans. I think these are scarlet runner beans growing here, but I planted some beans in here. They took off and this deterred them. They don't like the feel of it, because I saw them on camera, they would jump into the tote and jump up and go into the top one to eat my plants down. But when they touch this fine tool, no birds can get caught in here or anything. But when they touch it, squirrels, rats, mice, it gets stuck in their nails because their nails, you know, think of their little hands or their little sharp pointy needle-like nails. They get stuck in that. Not stuck where they're going to be there in the morning when you get up, but just stuck where it kind of clicks on to their nail and they don't like that feeling so when they touch it they jump back and they leave and go somewhere else at that point is when i should have planted a whole bunch more but i will say i did plant a few more in here that are coming up so i did come through with some seeds and push it in as everything started to grow again i just wish i would have done the whole wall i i would have had so many i heard my daughter was bringing in 10 cucumbers a day but they had so many they were pickling them they were eating them and they couldn't eat them quick enough. So she lost a few, not too many. So that was it. So all everything here is doing good. And the whole wall will just take a walk down there. So I'm going to take over again as my mic popped out. I've got celery growing there, Malabar spinach growing everywhere. These I didn't get to because they were being moved around due to some wood chips that came in. And there was work around here being done. And then I still have some brassicas. That's a tree color. It kind of fell over. I think I'm going to redo that. But look at this. Tomatoes are still growing in there. And I've got some green sorrel. I've got peppers all over. 
and more tomatoes. I've even got some zucchini growing in there. Some of these plants have reseeded themselves, but you can see as you look, there's onions and there's all kinds of stuff in there. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Here is all lettuce, more lettuce growing. I want you to see the bottom. All these tall plants growing here, there's a little bit of purslane growing here. This is purslane, but this is all popolo. This has been amazing among all this. I've been growing zucchini in a small container. Look at this, more zucchini I've been picking. And that's just growing in a little one gallon flower pot. Now this one didn't grow. So let me show you here. We take that off. This is a little compost container. I've got a video on that. Just put it in there and now it will feed the plant. And this plant shouldn't even be alive. Look at it. It's just full of life. But this is all, look at that, oregano over there. Oh, more, look at this. Tomatillos all through here growing. Isn't that something how it reseeds itself? And they'll be ready soon. And what I'll do is I'll wash them, take the little lanterns off, wash them and freeze them. I'll have them for salsas all winter. Look at this. This is a field of poplo, and Gary has just been going nuts harvesting and eating it. It's not my thing, but he loves it. Look at the tomatoes in here. It's not even groomed. It's full of tomatoes. Another zucchini. Oh, look at that. Zucchini here, and there's my avocado tree. So that's what has been going on here in the driveway. So now I am in the front yard, and as you can see, it's exactly the same. I haven't done anything. I'm going to set the table up later on. I'm just enjoying right now working on other parts of the garden, like my bird garden. But all in all, I still have beautiful marigolds growing, walking onions. I think I have one tomato plant left from the tomato project. Yes, because see, it's, start, it's starting to grow tomatoes. See all the green tomatoes on top inside? They call it semi-determinate, but here's the thing. Once it grows the tomatoes, the plant dies. So it's more determinate than semi. And I wasn't thrilled with it. I had a whole video on how I'm done with it. The marigolds are growing good. I can collect the seeds. I've got some more brassicas, walking onions. So that's been doing really good. And I'll clean this up probably in the, well, over the winter, over the fall and winter, and we'll see what we're gonna do with it. Just so you know, right now I pulled my mic. I've got a road, I've got road mics. And they were quite expensive. And I will say that for some reason, Periodically, it doesn't work, no matter how hard I try to make sure I connect it right. I've had issues with it, and I double-checked some of it, and some of it was like it would record, and then it wouldn't catch the wireless mic. So I don't know what's going on. So for the moment, I've pulled it, and I'm straight off the camera, no mic. That's why I don't like mics. I don't trust any mics. This is ginger, and the ginger is doing really good, and my granddaughter is making turmeric ginger shots. She said where she blends it up. So I told her just start reaching deep inside and taking what she wants. She doesn't even have to do anything more than that. I did it the other day. You just move everything over, reach in, you'll feel the turmeric and you can snap it off. That's a small plant. I don't want to do it off a small plant, but isn't this gorgeous? You can see the blue turmeric or black turmeric by the leaves. I've got a, three of those. I've got a container in the back. I gave one to Gary. And then I've got these two here. Those are just some flowers growing. And then look how beautiful the rest of them are. They're, people call them yellow turmeric. I call them orange, because ours here grows so deep orange. But I am so excited. Just the thing, in January, this will all be gone, and then I'll harvest it all. The reason I can't leave it here, even though there is an overhang, that if we are wet and cold, it will rot. It's a tropical plant. So is ginger, ginger and turmeric. So if you're in an area that you get wet and cold, then you better pull it in, put it in a greenhouse, put it in your garage. The main thing is you want to keep turmeric and ginger not sopping wet. You don't want it completely dried out. A little bit of water here and there maybe, but mainly not bogged, not full of water air. It will rot. You won't have anything to grow back in the spring. And here we grow in late spring, early summer because it really likes the warm weather. But it's doing fantastic and I'm so happy with it. I've given Gary a lot and I still have so much I never planted out. And then here again, tomatoes and a tomatillo grew. Now something ate it, probably a hornworm, and I can't find the hornworm. So sometimes they go deep down and they hide and they go back and forth. I'm not gonna worry about it. I have so many tomatillos around here. I'm just letting it do its thing. And then that is a two system. I can lift the orange bucket, except I've got a great big tomatillo in there. 
and I can add in, look at that on the bottom, a little bit of turmeric, or maybe, no, it looks like ginger came up. But I can lift the bucket and compost right in there and put it back and feed the plants. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, let's go into the bird garden and I'll try to swap back to my mic because you won't be able to hear me due to the wind. And if it doesn't work, I guess I'll have to narrate over it. So sorry about that. You know, sometimes you say you can't hear me and I... Wow, somebody's working on their car. And I try to mic myself and I haven't found a decent mic yet. So I'll have to see what's going on. Look at, look at this. Isn't that something? And there's triple on the other side. Look at all the dragon fruit. And then the tree collars. Remember, these are like gold. Tomatoes are doing fantastic. You know what, maybe I'll just walk through because I don't want to take a chance on my mic going out again. And then I've got, oh, again, more tomatoes. You know, there was like triple on there yesterday. The kids were eating, my sister was eating, I was eating. We've got the sun golds, we've got the red cherry tomatoes, and we've got yellow tomatoes in here doing fantastic. Not sure yet what I'm gonna do with this. I was gonna leave this tote because it's the oldest tote I've got. Between that one and those three green ones. They used to be bright green, they faded, but look, they're still going really good. These are like six years old. Maybe this one's seven, but I might empty it. I did find some roots in there and we know whose roots they are. Yep, that pine tree. So I might empty it and move it and put something else there. I might move the trough over. Because if I did that, it would be easier to access and walk around. So I'm not sure which way I'm going to go, but we'll see later. And this is some seed coming up that I planted. I did a video on that. It's kind of the wrong time of the year because they really don't grow well into the fall, into the winter like this. But I should get some of it growing. My polka dot plants, I'm doing cuttings of, this is a purple geranium. And this is a flower back there. More seeds coming up. And I've got carnations there. And I've been setting up more fountains. Look at all the fountains just turned on because the clouds just parted for you. So you can see the fountains. I'm going to redo that and do a makeover. This is something I bought. And I've got to hook that up. I bought it a long time ago. It was tucked away. Could never see it. I saw it in a store for $15. I didn't want it to be electric. So it set up the solar. But I've got to get it cleaned up and reset it up there. And then back here, I've got different flowers. I've got my roses. Look at the bucket back there. The birds love the... Uh, just a simple bucket, a dish plate, and a bowl. Isn't that something? And this is the cement fountain I made. I've got a, we can go back here now, papaya that I planted. I'm hoping it will make it. The birds ate it up, but it's coming back. I've got the roses, more of a wild type rose, kind of running all through here. It just kind of just goes up in the air and everywhere. That one's got to be reconnected. Oh no, I see what happened. The solar panel, I got to get one of my holders up there moved and then more back through there we have got dozens now of spice finches coming through here and i think gary's goal is to have hundreds i don't know if that's going to happen but it could be i literally just filled all these trays they're gone right now but like an hour ago and they emptied everything the spice finches i've never seen so many spice finches i don't know what's going to happen when the white crowns come back because they take over the garden they disappear in the beginning of summer and then they come back after breeding season, which is now. And Gary thought he saw one yesterday. I didn't see it, but he thought he did. We've seen like so many birds here. I've got a video. It's a long video, it's two hours long that I made a few years ago of all the species that come through just here. It's amazing. It's over 50 species of birds. I think it's called 50 species of Southern California. It is amazing. Another, you know which one this one is. Oh, the birds love it. The hummingbirds take a bath on that. Everybody comes to drink on that. And then I've got more geraniums. I've got hummingbirds lunch. Salvia is all through here. I've got an emu bush. They, the hummingbirds come to all this stuff. They come to the geraniums looking mainly for a little bit of pollen and some insects. There's not a lot of nectar in there, but they'll still use it. But they love salvias. You can't go wrong with that. Let's see, and what else? We've got mint all through the ground here. All kinds of brassicas are coming back now. And oh, here, let me show you here. I used my auger a while ago and I went through here to demonstrate how to put in, let's say collared, tree collared or whatever you want. They're all growing. Every single one made it. There's a little one there, that one made it. Look at that. 
there you can there's one back here that made it it's already got new growth right here i've got this one made it it never died back and that's a big piece another one in front of it this whole thing is going to be tree colored i'm going to plant a whole bunch of it this is malabar spinach coming up it was in the bucket so i moved the bucket here it's like a jungle here i've got potatoes which is really cool i can just lift it dump it harvest the potatoes and put them back this was supposed to be my pride and joy brassica but some tomato plants are coming up i'll leave it right now isn't this gorgeous another hybrid coming up i think this is a collared a collared plant that hybridized with a dazzling blue kale is that not gorgeous and that one's growing in the bucket more potatoes so that's what's growing there and then this is the walking onions i just put here and another brassica through here isn't that gorgeous gary just bought these he brought those home the other day he brought home these plants which is an emu plant that grows red flowers i've got well it's a video we were talking and that was in there so he's got that there Isn't that beautiful? It's not a monarch, but something else. Okay. And then he brought home this the next day. And they're marked $20, but they had a, they were a quarter off. So, uh, or I should say three quarters off. So they had them marked down. So they were five bucks a piece. So I'm going to be planting that. And then through here, look at the tree colored. That amazing? Just spotting it through here. This will be cleaned up and changed in the spring. This has worked out really, really well. My work table. I love this. And look at my culantro. The same bag I've had all summer because I mix it with stuff. Look at this. This is mushroom plant. And then I've got my culantro. It's going to seed. I'm going to let it go to seed and start it again in the spring. And then again, purple tree color all through here. Isn't that gorgeous? And my papayas. I'm not sure. I may have tiny fruit. We had flowers earlier. You can't see because they're all bunched up. It made a comeback. I sure hope we don't get too cold this winter because it it really knocked these plants around really bad. I don't know if any of them set fruit. I don't see any, but it's, sometimes you don't see them when they're real little. And then all of a sudden you see the fruit growing. Isn't that cool? All right, so now let's go into the rainbow garden. And there's a rainbow garden. The strawberries are still going good. I've got Malabar spinach down there. Look at this. Tomatoes that look like midnight snacks are coming up through here. I've got a lot of cuttings of geraniums. I even have peppers. I've got peppers all over the property. And I think this is going to make a comeback. So it needs a really good grooming. Look at this. Full of fruit growing in there. And then my eggplant. We've been picking eggplants. So eggplant is good. Flowers. These are my zinnias. Isn't this something I need to go through here and groom a lot of this? Zinnias are growing all over the bottom, everywhere. These are all zinnias. Look at that. That amazing. And then, of course, my beautiful purple curly kale. I love this. This was a cutting. Remember, I cut it all the way down and it grew back because it got too big and it was way up in the air. So now it's grown back. I've got pepinos. The plant is doing really good, but I planted another one. So here's another pepino plant right here. So I've got a new plant that is cloned off of that one. And like I said, oh, these are onions. These are regular white onions, I believe, and more red vein sorrel. Pepper plants that need some help back here. Look at that. Got peppers back there, more peppers down there. This one got chewed. Oh yeah, you know what? I'll hold on to that because I'll use that for dinner. This has been my best one yet, my best pepper plant. I'll put that up there right now. Look at all of them, a whole bunch and they're so big. They're all through there. Look, all through there. There's a watermelon plant in here, never produce watermelons. So next year I will go ahead and set up watermelon, hopefully if our weather looks like it's gonna be warmer. If not, we may not be able to grow that many watermelons without tricking them. And then I've got milkweed and look at all the seeds. My goodness, I think hundreds of monarchs came off of this. It's been unbelievable. More tomato plants coming through there. I've got another hummingbird's lunch, which I want to put somewhere else, not leave it here. But for now, it was a really tiny plant, and it's growing really good inside the tote. So we'll get that moved somewhere, and then I've got some propagating different types of geraniums there, which I can move. And then my pizza garden. Trim some of it down. My thyme is dying back. I want to trim that down. But I've got sage and I still have basil growing. 
oregano, um, then I've got a tricolored sage, more basil up here, rosemary, I've got everything. This is my thyme. And then more peppers growing back here with the buckets. Look at this. Had to try to get in there. See that? Been picking peppers, so that's been really good. Oh, I forgot to get the figs. Hold on. I've got a fig. Oh my gosh, I'll come back and get some figs, but some of them have been eaten by the birds. This one is still good, so I gotta keep an eye on that. If I miss them, the birds get them so they don't go to waste. Isn't this gorgeous? So that's it. And I am very pleased with the garden. And remember, I'm doing all this. I've got like 10 gardens. Gary's got his one. And I'm trying to get a whole bunch done. And this year was a different year. I kind of got slow on a lot of stuff. But all in all, I think it did good. Hold on. Oh, wow. There's milkweed seeds stuck in here. Boy, that's, those seeds blow everywhere. I hope you enjoyed this garden tour. We'll see what happens in two weeks because sometimes I tell you I'm not going to plant something and then suddenly I do. I am doing a lot of cuttings off of brassicas because I have so many established. Once you plant certain things like tree collard or even regular collard, you could do a lot of cuttings. You could do it off of broccoli, broccolini. Do cuttings off of that and then plant them in different places of the garden so you've got them well established instead of starting from seedlings. So you can do it both ways. So I'm kind of spotting things around that way. It's working out really well. But we'll see what happens in a couple weeks. I'm working big time in the bird garden that we're going through. I'm trying to get a lot of flowers in there. I'm trying to get a lot of brassicas going in there. I'm trying to bring more birds in and I'm setting up for different species of birds. So when they come in, like the spice finches they find all the food that they need and i don't think they're going anywhere so with that have a wonderful day hope you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up or a like and don't forget to eat what you grow bye bye and please subscribe it helps our channel and she told me i could not wear pants over my head to the birthday party well it's comfortable i'll wear it in the garden does this look bad it's very loose in the arms, but for an old lady, what do you mean for an old lady? You're not that old. <laughs> no, serious. Does it look bad? It's so comfortable. It doesn't look like it fits you. It looks like it's too big. Oh, so, okay. So I should just get a smaller one. Maybe. It's pants over the head. See, it matches. I know it does match. It looks like you're wearing a, a one piece underneath. <laughs> yeah. you no, know, it's just really loose in the arms. I think. It just doesn't look like it fits you. So I think if you got a smaller one or you tightened it or something, it would look... A smaller size. It would look better, yeah. But I'm going to garden in this, so I didn't wear it to the party. Yeah. Wave goodbye. Bye. Okay. She's defending her mother. <laughs>